What's up guys, in today's video I will be going over blogging platforms on the Hive blockchain and how you can set up your account to interact within the communities there automatically and earn some passive income. I know most of you follow me for Splinterlands content, so if you already have a Splinterlands account, you also have a Hive blockchain account, which means you can just log into these sites I'm about to mention with your username and posting key. If you don't play Splinterlands, you will have to sign up to one of the blogging platforms. We will be using PeakD in this video as it's the one I use the most, but you can also use Hive.blog or Essency.com. You can sign up here and it'll walk you through the process really easily. But for this video, since I already have an account, we're just going to be logging in using the Hive keychain. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to go to the upper right hand corner, click your username and head to the wallet. Once you're in your wallet, you're going to want to be familiar with a couple tokens. Hive is the native token of the Hive blockchain and you will need some to get started with this method of passive earning. Hive power is the state form of Hive tokens and they can be well, Hive tokens can be transformed into Hive Power in a process called powering up. One Hive token is equivalent to one Hive Power. This is the token that we will be earning passively. A good thing to know is that the more HP you have in your account, the more rewards you will earn in this method. So starting with zero HP isn't ideal. To get Hive tokens in your Hive wallet, all you have to do is click the little drop down box here, click buy hive, and it's going to pull up this separate tab where you can buy hive with your credit card, Apple Pay, or Google Pay. After you have your hive in your account, I'm going to be using my 0 .002 hive as an example. Uh, you'll just want to click the drop down box again and click power up. Here, all you have to do is go to the amount, and if you want to do the max amount, all you have to do is click the little highlighted hive there, and click continue. And the hive keychain is just going to want you to verify everything. And once you do, your hive tokens will be converted to hive power. Once you have the hive power in your account, you're going to want to head over to hive.vote and log in. If you sign up for Peak D, you already have an account here. All you have to do is type in your username and posting key. But since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. Once logged in, you will probably have to authorize Steam Auto's access. This way it can upload content for you automatically. You will have to change a couple settings within Hive.Vote to start earning. The first being your upvote mana threshold. But first, let's go over this article that kind of explains what voting mana is. That way we can better understand what it is we're changing. So voting mana is like an energy bar in a computer game that goes down a little bit every time you vote. You start out with 100% voting mana. Every time you vote, you will use a small amount of your voting mana. As you use more of your voting mana, your vo votes will carry less influence. A vote with 50% voting mana left will be worth half as much as a vote cast with 100% voting mana. Not to worry, the network recharges your voting mana by 20% every day. So you will have to play around with your upvote mana threshold to see what works for you and gives you the best earnings, but 50 through 60% is a good place to get started. Make sure to turn self-vote to false so you aren't upvoting your own content. You also don't have to worry about the downvote mana threshold as we will not be setting up any automatic downvotes. Next, we have to set up the automatic upvotes within curation trails. So just head over to curation trail and just to explain what they are, curation trails are basically just other users who upvote content and Hive.Vote follows their upvote trail to upvote the same post that they do. Some accounts are set up to be just curation trails so they find quality content and upvote it. And I've already found quite a few of those accounts for you guys. And they are just listed here. You can search for any of those in the search for trail box here. 
You guys could also follow me as a curation trail since I already follow all of these and upload their content automatically. Just type no empathy in the search for trail box. Once you have it in, just hit search and your curation trail will pop up and click follow and you will be done. Below search for trail, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a list of popular curation trails that you can follow. And once you're done setting up all your curation trails, it will take a few days for your rewards to start coming in. But you can check that by going back to Peak D, head to your wallet. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the rewards that are coming in in the form of HP. Now, this really doesn't track anything for you, but you will be able to see the rewards coming in. If you want a better like tracking system for this, head on over to hobstats.io. Just type in your username, your peak D username that is, and it should pop up. And all you have to do is click that. And if you scroll down, it will show a ton of information for you. It shows your curation APR. Shows you what you learn, uh, earn for the last few days, as you can see here. And just kind of a summary of your account. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different than my usual content. Let me know in the comments.